Hello, this is I Am Miss Prissy, and today I will demonstrate to you how to place an image watermark inside an Excel worksheet. In order to place a watermark inside of an Excel worksheet, you have to use the header footer feature. So let's start. We will go to the top of our menu bar and select insert. Then we will click on header and footer. We must select the picture that we would like to use as our watermark. So I went into my pictures library. I selected my picture. And now I must format the picture to be used as a watermark. So I will select format picture, which opens up the format picture box. Now I will click on picture because I would like to use my image that I selected from my photos library as a washout image. So I select washout, then I select, I click on size because I would like to size my watermark image. So for the width, I will make it 11 and a half inches. Then I click on OK. Now I would like to see my watermark on my Excel file. So I can just click in any blank open space. I select print preview and here I have it my image as a watermark. So let's say I would like my image to be more centered. All I have to do is click on insert to go back into the header and footer feature. And I just place my cursor right before my picture and I will just click on enter, the key enter a few times. Then I just click out in any open space. Then I go to my print preview and I can see that it's more centered. If I would like to resize it, all I have to do is just go back into insert, click on header and footer again. I must go into format picture and I can resize it to any size that I would like for the height, the width, up under the size. Now if I would like to make it um, a black and white image, I click on picture from the color uh, drop down menu. I can select a gray style. I can select black and white or as this ha or ha I have demonstrated it's washout. So let's say I would like a gray style. I would select gray scale. I would select OK. As you can see it's gray. I select in any open space. Just click in any open space to close out that header and footer um, preview. Then I select preview then I can see that it's a gray scale. So there you have it. That's how you input a watermark image inside of an Excel worksheet. I hope this was very helpful to you. See you next time. Thank you for your time.